with y'all because y'all have really misled me, got me hyped and excited for nothing, and I want to fight. What's up? What's good? It's your girl Courtney B here and I'm back with another video. As y'all can tell by the title, okay, we are bringing a different type of video to the channel. I have been wanting to do a video like this for the longest of time. Is that a text message? Only thing that kind of kept me back from doing these type of videos is the fact that I'm not really one to buy a lot of things in one month. But recently, your girl has just signed up for Amazon Prime and your girl has been priming it, okay? But of course, everything in today's video you will be able to pick up in stores. If you guys are interested and I'm babbling, let's just jump right into the video. Today, we are going to do my October favorites and regrets. Please give me a big thumbs up. Let me know down below how you like this type of content and we will definitely keep it going. So let's just jump right into our first favorite. My first item is going to be this body wash right here. This is the OGX Shea Soft and Smooth Body Wash. Girl, when I tell you this body wash makes you want to open your mouth and waterfall, I wish you could smell this through, through the screen. If I could describe this scent, it's more of a vanilla, true vanilla, a true vanilla cake batter type of smell. Like, it literally makes you want to eat this. I have to calm myself down every time I bathe with this. I love this scent so much because Typically when you have a body wash and it says vanilla, cocoa butter, shea butter, it has like the same generic Bath and Body Works coconut or cocoa butter scent. It just smells like something I've never smelled before. As far as it's being hydrating and adding moisture, I have very, very dry skin, okay? I have extremely dry skin, so this does not really, it is, okay, put it like this. It does not dry me, it doesn't dry me out, but it's not super duper hydrating as well. I love this more so for this scent. It does give me some moisture, but not complete moisture, that makes sense. This is just to make me feel like a snack, okay? This is just for the smell. I'm so excited to talk about this next one because it's also a shower care, a body care product, but it is also black owned, okay? I did pick up a body scrub, and this is a body scrub by Sugar Goddess. This is her exotic pineapple and coconut enzyme body scrub. This is for even skin tone, glowing, and reduces body acne. When I say this is heaven in a jar, this is nothing but the truth. I've used a lot of body scrubs in the past. I mean, a lot. And all of them do the job, of course, scrubbing away dead skin and stuff like that. But I always, I always end my shower feeling so empty. My skin feels extra dry. My skin just feels like it's missing something. With this body scrub, she has infused each body scrub with an oil. So it's sloughing off my dead skin, but also leaving me some type of moisture. You're putting this on in the shower, giving yourself a nice little scrub, get under the shower head, wash your product off for you, and you can instantly, instantly while you're washing your body off, feel the moisture in your skin. To the point where you got the shower and skip lotion if that's what you want to do. Many nights I have skipped lotion when using this product. Like I literally want to use this every single day, but it's not you know, instructed because of course it's a scrub. It can be kind of abrasive. But even with that, this is not very abrasive, like at all. This is a consistency and you can see the moisture in the scrub. You can literally see the oils and the moisture running through. Girl, this has to be my favorite product out of this whole favorites video, like no joke. This one smells exactly like pineapple. When I say this whole vibe gives me black bath and body works, like bro, I Check out Sugar Goddess. You won't be disappointed. All of her products are bomb. I did get the corresponding body butter. Now I highly, highly suggest you getting this as a combo, getting the body scrub as well as the body butter. This is the perfect combo for like a sneak and leak. But I'm gonna be completely blunt raw with you. If you use both of these items together, wear dark clothing. <laughs> and I say that because since this is so moisture packed, it has a lot of oils and like, it has a lot of healing and moisturizing oils in it. It will kind of penetrate your clothes a little bit if you wear anything light and leave like an oily stain, which will come out when you wash it. I learned the hard way. I put this on, lathered everything down, but I was so smooth and I put on some gray tights, I believe. Looked like I had done pissed myself. The body butter is the same exact thing, same exact scent, but you definitely can smell the shea butter in it. A little bit goes a long way with this shea butter. So I know this little itty bitty jar is gonna last you, girl 
a minute. So girl, if you're watching this, you did that, okay? This, this right here, that is what you did. Some of you guys may shave, some of you guys may wax, some of you guys may laser. I don't care what none of y'all say, baby, I'm a nail girl. Okay, I'm a nail girl. I've tried the shaving. My body is very sensitive. Shaving just does not agree with me very well. <laughs> and even though I do not shave, sometimes as a woman, you can get razor bumps no matter what, okay? This has changed my life tremendously. This is the Nivea Men Sensitive Pulse Shave Balm. Baby, this does wonders for your hoo-ha, okay? Immediately after I nail and I wash everything away and get that area all clean, right after, you lather your pom pom with this, not inside, on top. Where all your little meat at and just sink into your skin overnight. Baby girl, if you had a razor bump in the morning, it's diminished by at least 80%. Now the one thing I don't like about the balm is the fact that since it is for men, you're gonna smell like ax. You're gonna smell like someone's boyfriend, somebody's baby daddy, somebody's husband. You are going to smell like a dude down there. So I suggest if you're shaving up for like a, like a, I keep, I hate to keep saying sneakily. If you are shaving up for some adult activities, I suggest you do this a day before. Do not do this an hour before you finna go handle your business because you're gonna smell like his homeboy. Yeah, this scent is very strong. Like, the consistency is a little milky. I don't wanna put it on because it's gonna have me smell like a man. Okay, this is the consistency. It's a little runny, but it definitely works good for your hoo-ha. Y'all have been on top of me for the longest, for as long as I can remember about my skincare routine, my skincare, how I take care of my skin, how do I stay so moist, how do my skin stay so clear. This next product is a big part of how I keep my skin moisturized. Just as my body skin is very dry, my facial skin can be dry as well. I'm typically oily, but since I've been on like a different medication for my skin, I do go to dermatologists that medication kind of sucks the moisture out of my skin so i had to find a moisturizer that did not clog my pores did not break my skin out and did not make me look greasy now i've tried plenty of drugstore moisturizers i've tried the clean and clear i've tried the cetaphil i've tried the neutrogena none none of it worked for me only product that has actually helped me to stay moisturized has been this baby right here this is the earth to skin super fruits avocado overnight mask now this is advertised as being an overnight mask i'm gonna let you know right now this is just the same thing as a facial moisturizer since it is a lot thicker and a little bit heavier i use this before i do makeup it's a wonderful base for my makeup personally i also use this very lightly very sparingly when i'm going out into the air because it is very very moisturizing a little bit does go a long way um and also sometimes when i'm getting really, really dry throughout the night I do go and put this on in certain spots where I need it. And just like I said, it is a little bit heavier, so I try to use it sparingly and as minimal as possible. But when I do use her, she gets me, she gets me right. I also use other earth to skin products. I also have the day cream, the day cream for moisturizing. And I also have an under eye product that I love from them. And they're such a skin friendly brand. I have never had an issue with them breaking me out, me getting a reaction from them because my face is very sensitive. It does my face plenty of good. My next item is a perfume. And this is the YSL Black Opium. I have been wanting this scent for Ever. Before I even smelled this scent, I had been obsessing over this bottle on Pinterest for months, months on end. Even though I wear this a lot, I do not wear this every day. This is more of like a when you go out, a little bit more dressy. This is a very grown and sexy grown woman scent. This is not a scent you throw on to go run errands. This is not a scent you throw on to go to Walmart. This is a very classic sexy scent that will never go out of style. If y'all hear little feet, my dogs just done bust in here and I guess they want to be part of the video too so just don't mind any panting. But my next item is going to be sunglasses and these are my computer glasses, blue light glasses. I've always seen girls talk about blue light glasses on YouTube and stuff when it comes to editing and being on the computer for long hours. But I always thought it was more so of a gimmick. I didn't think there was really any substance to these glasses but I've been doing YouTube for about three and a half years, four years straight. As a content creator, even if you're not a YouTube creator, Instagram creator, Twitter creator, you are in front of a screen 24 seven, okay? And that can put some wear and tear on your eyes and it definitely has done some damage to mine. I can see very well, but I often get really bad headaches when I am. When I am in front of these lights for a long period of time, then jumping from these lights 
to my computer to editing sometimes in the dark. So when I'm editing or on my phone for like a long period of time, I don't know the signs behind it. When I'm wearing these glasses, I don't have any headaches when I'm editing for long periods of time. So this kind of eliminates the headache side of things when you are editing or being on your phone for long periods of time. You can find these anywhere if you just Google blue light or computer glasses, but I got mine from AliExpress for like under four bucks. I want to say either 326 or 362. These have to be close to me at all times. I keep these on my nightstand in my nightstand drawer because most of the times at night is when I edit the most and my eyes are already tired. I have to push through and these definitely help me get the job done. My next favorite, I forgot, everything is not skincare. My next favorite is my purse. Is my Louis Vuitton. Don't know what it's called. Put it down below, but y'all already know it's fake. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know how I do and baby girl she is giving me very much so luxury and um, bougie on a budget. Clink clink baby. This bag has a lot of space, a lot of different compartments you can add items to. This is the perfect bag for if you're going out of town. This bag is detachable. This bag does also come with a chain but I took the chain off to wear on my other Louis Vuitton bag because I didn't like how it really looked on the bag. This bag I did get from AliExpress and before anyone asks, yes I still have the link. Hopefully by the time I upload this video it's still active but I will definitely post this down below now the one thing about AliExpress that I do want to point out some of the designer replica duped items will not show the exact logo or will not show like the printing and detailing on the bag if you guys are a little bit skeptical of that or of anything that you guys may see that may be a dupe on aliexpress contact the seller write them on aliexpress through the app and they will kindly send you pictures through whatsapp or your email or even through the aliexpress app so make sure you guys always do your research if you guys are purchasing replica items now my last and final favorite for the month of november my clear gloss okay this is my clear gloss called toffee from the hive and co which if you guys did not know is your girl's cosmetic grand all right which is what i'm wearing right now she just does something for the girls i just love her this is the right amount of thick the right amount of stickiness i live for a good glossy clear lip like that's something that will never go out of style you're not really a real gloss fan if you're not obsessed with clear gloss now that is it for my october favorites now cut the crap Cut the laugh and there's nothing funny but then get serious because I'm pissed. I'm I'm very upset because I feel as if uh, uh, woo! Social media is a very powerful and strong place. You feel me? Even the influencers can be influenced. And I was influenced to buy these items because people amped it up and boosted it up, made it sound so great and just just kiss and I'm upset with y'all because y'all have really misled me. Y'all have got me hyped and excited for nothing. And I want to fight. <sighs> Let's talk about it. I'm about to hurt so many feelings right now because I'm going to be completely blunt, raw, and honest. These tree hut scrubs are trash. Are trash. Are trash. Are trash. Scrub essentially is supposed to slough off dead skin cells, okay? That does that. I don't care what no one says. This should not leave your skin feeling like it's about to flake off from being so dry. This does not add any moisture, any smell to your body, anything of that nature. It literally just scrubs your body. I feel like the hype came from the smells because don't get me wrong. These smell amazing. This one is the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub in the scent Tropical Mango. And this is the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub in the scent Coco Colada. I am in love with these scents. Both of these scents smell amazing. But they just don't do anything. As far as exfoliating, they do that, okay? You can do that with regular sugar with no scent with regular brown sugar with no scent. You can exfoliate with salt. These just don't do anything for me. They don't, I'm sorry they don't. Unless maybe I messed up by using this Sugar Goddess body scrub first, you know, and then comparing these to that. But I'm, I'm just not getting it. Now these are a little bit on the more affordable side in comparison to the Sugar Goddess body scrub. So I get it. For the price, it does what it's ultimately supposed to do which is scrub your body but it's a hype these are hyped up i don't like them i don't like them i don't like them i don't like them this is my favorite scent which is the tropical mango this is the texture of all of them but you can instantly feel that you're not gonna have any moisture after using this 
you're not. Listen, if someone tells you they use these and their body feels smooth and moisturized after using this, they're lying or they use a moisturizer or a moisturizing body wash after they use these products. I'm going to use both of these to death until it's completely empty on my feet. These are a definite no. I'm sorry. I, I, I said what I said. And yeah, you guys, that is everything that I have as far as my October favorites and regrets. If you guys have tried any of these products and may have had the same experience as I have or may have had a different experience, leave a comment down below. What do you guys think of these items? Leave me comments down below what you guys think of today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, if you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> if you guys did enjoy today's video, please not forget to give your a big thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to the Beehive down below. Join the Beehive gang, the Beehive fam, because we are lit and we are never, ever. Bougie over here, over here, here do you understand? understand? I'm going to because I put the girl because I'm your best friend, you're my best friend, we're all best friends. So as we go on Instagram, I mean, what? And yeah, as always, I love every single one of you. But until next time, my lovelies, your crown may tilt, but you never let it fall. Stay gilded.